Hi everyone, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and the Artie Dance channel, depending on which one you're watching this review on. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Singaporean horror film, Circle Line. So first, let's check out what it's about. A group of survivors are trapped underground on an unfinished train line in the Singaporean metro after a switching error on the train line. But trapped with them is some kind of creature, an odd-looking and highly possessive creature who has taken a shine to a little boy with a traumatic background. At the same time, train engineers above ground desperately try and work out where the train is and how they can rescue the survivors. So, firstly, apologies for my weird voice, I am still recovering from COVID, so yeah, great. Um, but when it comes to this movie, I watched it a few nights ago, and I have to say, there are some things that I really enjoyed, and some things that I really found perplexing about the film. Firstly, I love the whole train setting, and I love the fact that, you know, Singaporean Metro has this reputation of being the best Metro in the world. So what a great idea to make a horror movie on the world's best Metro, second best Metro in the world. It, it, novel idea, and it scores a, a thumbs up from me, but I'm missing something here, and I'm missing the backstory of the monster. Now, I know it's it's counted, very, it happens very quick at the start of the film. You get to see this little baby monster in a, like a lizard tank, and then you see a cut of the, the people working on the underground when they're told to stop. And I suppose that's the link between the monster and the train line. But there's no real backstory other than that. No real development about what happens. So part of what I found really confusing about this film was the monster in general and the purpose it played in the film. And in fact, what was it? it it's got this strange kind of mouth here that looks like some kind of you know heavy machinery, compacting like that, you know, some kind of digger. Um, and then that's compounded by some really strange effects in the film. So there's a real weird blend of CGI that looks really bad. And then what appears to be uh, puppetry. I, I think it's puppetry and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe just the close-ups are really good CGI. Um, but because some of the movement of the monsters are a bit too smooth to be puppetry. But the close-ups actually look good. Good detail in the skin and, and the, the kind of face of the monster. But when you see far out shots or action shots of it, it really doesn't look that good. The other thing that really confused me about the movie was, is it a monster movie or is it a kind of drama thriller about the fears of the Singaporean train engineers and the metro workers? Because a lot of the movie is spent in the offices of the train engineers trying to work out what went wrong, arguing about train upgrades, etc., etc., um, to the point where it felt like the monster movie was kind of tacked on. So, you know, the monster component could have been a short movie, 30, min 30 odd minutes, um, and then they've just tacked in this other bit about, uh, you know, the, the, the engineers arguing over the top of it. There didn't really seem to be too much of a link between any of the two. And it's a nice, but it is a nice and short movie. So if that's what you're after, if you're after a really short horror film, you don't get much from Singapore. Singapore's horror output's pretty low. Um, and so far, I haven't found anything fantastic. Sorry to say that, Mr. Gilbert Chan, if you're watching. Um, I know we've discussed Singaporean horror movies together before. He's the director of 2359, which is probably uh, one of the highest rated Singapore horror movies ever. Um, but I'm just not feeling it with this film. And and it's, 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 is it a horror film? Is it a monster film? It's kind of, it's kind of just in the middle of both of them. And if you've got anxiety about trains, if you've got anxiety about taking underground trains and anxiety about them breaking down, I don't think this movie will do anything to fix that anxiety. Um, and which is really odd because the Singaporean train network is just fantastic. So using the ghost rating, which stands for great horror or stupid trash, unfortunately, it only gets two ghosts. And the reason I do that is because I, I do find that the monster backstory is just not detailed enough. Uh, and that the movie really doesn't know what it wants to be. Does it want to be a drama about the train network or does it want to be a cute little monster movie with a social message? It, it, there's just no... It's trying to have uh, its finger in both pies and kind of doesn't do both of them really well. And it also leaves itself open for a sequel. And I'm not sure how I feel about movies that leave themselves open for a sequel. But if you've seen Circle Line, what did you think of it? Um, 
it's it's nice to see a monster movie from somewhere other than the big countries like uh, like Japan and, and China. So, what did you think of this Singaporean horror, uh, monster horror movie, Circle Light? Leave me a comment below, press like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more video reviews, and otherwise I'll catch you in the next video.